I could feel that afternoon lag coming. And I'm sure you can too, but wake up. We've got one more session before we have a little break and you're going to want to be alert for this presentation by Brian Essig. He's one of the few people that actually gets to be in New York for Meet Magento this year. And I'm just a little bit jealous. Brian is the president of Creating Digital, a New York City area agency that helps companies realize their vision by creating digital solutions. Brian has worked with Magento since 2008 and has been a regular member of the Magento community for the past few years. So limber up your fingers and type in the chat and welcome Brian to the stage. Hey, thanks TJ for that introduction and thanks for all the attendees for tuning in. So today I'm gonna go over how New York's Butcher is using Magento 2 to increase conversion rates, increase sales and streamline operations. So a little motivation about today's slides. Uh, every single night I read three books with my three-year-old before we go to bed. And so each story has three characters. As a storyteller and an informer, that's me, Brian Essig, president of Creating Digital, founded in 2009. My first shopping cart used was Commerce CGI, which is a Perl-based solution. My likes are computers. That's why I'm here talking to you today about Magento. And ice hockey, I'm an avid player and fan. Our next character is our hero merchant. That's the Braga, New York's butcher. They were founded in 1920 and they're purveyor of fine meats. Their first shopping cart used was VS Admin, an ASP-based solution. Urgh. Their likes, meat, cooking, hunting, and nature. Uh, a quick moment for those guests who've joined us in New York in past years. If you've eaten out in New York City at one of the top rated steakhouses or fine dining restaurants, there's a really good chance that the steak you were served came from DeBraga. Next is our supporting cast. So during each one of these stories I read my son, there's always a few characters along the way that help our main character along his journey. Here's Magento. He was developed in 2008 and he had a metamorphosis in 2015 when version two came out. His first shopping cart used was OS Commerce. His likes are online shopping, Linux, and flexibility. And next, in every story, we have our antagonist. Here, that's complexity. He's been around since the dawn of civilization. His first shopping cart used, well, he just uses them all at the same time because he likes to be complicated and complex like that. He likes killing your projects, destroying your timelines, and increasing cost. So let's jump into our story. So our character has an idea and meets challenges along the way. Our hero merchant wakes up one day and says to himself, let's sell our meat online to customers across the country. He meets Creating Digital and Magento, and they tell him, great, we can help with that. Our hero merchant tells Creating Digital and Magento, the way that consumers buy meat and the way our butchers prepare it is a little bit different. And this is the first time in the story that we meet complexity. So did you know that consumers are used to buying two packs or four packs of a certain kind of cut? And butchers in the morning when they wake up to prepare the orders, they just wanna know the total quantities ordered of the cuts, not the number of packs or anything like that. So Magento's got this. You see, in Magento core functionality, there's Magento bundled products. And basically, we create simple products representing the different cuts and bundled products representing the packs. So here on our product detail page, we can see that we have Kansas City strip steaks. The customer buys the bundled product, and it includes four of the simple products, since this is a four pack. This kind of solution in Magento default functionality works beautifully for sets as well. Here you can see the classic barbecue family kit, and you can see the, the variety of components that make up this kit. So to the consumer, they're just buying one kit, but to the butcher, they're getting multiple quantities of different products. And every single morning when the butchers come in, they get their butcher cut sheet, and they know exactly what they have to do to fulfill all of the orders for the day. Next, our hero merchant, uh, we ask our hero merchant, how will we handle shipping? And our hero merchant reminds us that meats are perishable and they're always shipped fresh from them, not frozen, so they have to go overnight. 
And this is where complexity comes back into the story. So the difference in cost and delivery time for a 10 pound package via FedEx one mile. So if I was to send my friend a package from my office here, just one mile down the street, what would that cost and what would the arrival date of that package be? Well, if I was to send that package FedEx overnight on Monday, they would receive that package on Tuesday at a cost of $79.37. That price, I'd rather just drive it to my friend's house in five minutes, but this is e-commerce, right? So next, if I send that package to him FedEx ground on Monday, it would cost me $12.06. That's a difference of $67.31. So now for that big of a difference, $67.31, clearly the arrival date must be drastically different. You'll be shocked to know it's the exact same day. That package will leave here Monday, it'll go out ground, and it'll get there on Tuesday. So what if our character could simply know the cheapest way to send everyone perishable packages based on how long the carrier says it will take to get to them? This is where in the story we're introduced to the Magento ecosystem. Magento, you see, has a whole bunch of friends who help with really complex and really niche solutions. In this case, Magento introduces us to one of his friends called Shipper HQ. Shipper HQ can calculate times in transit build the customer appropriately, and let the butchers know what service level to ship. The butchers don't have to guess anymore if a package going to Buffalo, New York should go ground or go overnight. Shipper HQ will calculate that and figure out which service level will deliver it in one day at the cheapest price. Shipper HQ loves shipping. But that's not it. Complexity's back again, as our hero merchant reminds us about special occasions. You see, all around the world, food is really embedded in the culture and holidays. Remember your favorite family meal? Maybe somebody special cooked it, like your mom or your grandmother or your father, or even if, hey, if you ordered it from a restaurant that you love. You probably planned it, and you probably got the ingredients well in advance. So what our hero merchant wanted to do was allow customers, no matter when they were thinking about the holiday dinners and desserts that they were gonna make to be able to order those products, whether it was a week in advance, two weeks in advance, three weeks in advance. And so Shipper HQ was able to set up a delivery calendar that has the according blackout dates, holidays, days that our merchant is closed, all baked in. So now at the checkout, we're able to prompt our customers with, the, with a calendar where they can select the exact day in which they wanna receive the goods. And complexity is coming back into the story to throw us for some more loops. Our merchant asks us, what are we going to do about pricing? And we say to them, well, what do you mean? You set pricing on a product in the admin panel and you sell the product for that pricing. How complicated can that be? Well, our merchant informs us meat pricing is very volatile. It can change frequently and drastically, just like oil. We think about it and we realize that Magento is really a great flexible platform and we can code up something to handle this, like a price alert system. And so they did. They tied the ERP together with Magento and the ERP system was able to send all of the pricing information over. But it wasn't as simple as that sounds, you see. The ERP has the price per ounce of the specific meats. So we had to take kits like this and do a bunch of calculations to convert, convert the quantities into ounces and then take those ounces and multiply it by the price in the ERP system. Then what that allowed us to do is find out what the actual website cost was against the website price. We were able to calculate a gross profit percentage. And if the GP ever slips below a defined threshold, we're able to alert the merchant and they're able to manually review those prices. Our merchant, again, has some more questions and, of course, more complexity. So you see our merchant wants to do promotions like buy one, get one, free gifts with purchase, and other promotions. So, of course, Magento says, hey, promotions, I can handle that. 
Magento can handle promotions. It's got baked in two promotion types, a catalog price rule, which is basically the best example I can give is if you want to do a site-wide sale on white t-shirts at 50% off. You can tie into the product attributes and create some rules for that and get that set up. Then it has cart price rules uh, that are based on attributes in the cart, like subtotals. You can give out free shipping on an order of $250 or more. Uh, the images you're looking at now are from the Magento dev docs, and you can see there's a lot of functionality to tap into there. But between you and me, Magento promotion functionality definitely leaves some things to be desired. That's where Special Promotions Pro, a third-party module from Amnesty, comes in, and it allows us to add some additional functionality, like, like buy one, get one free, get a dollar amount back for each dollar spent, buy X, get Y for a percent off, buy multiple quantities of a product and get a percent off. Next, our hero merchant asks us about thieves. You see, he hears there's a lot of people online who use stolen credit cards to order things. And this is where complexity comes back into the picture. Luckily, Magento has quite a few different solutions. Uh, one is Signify D. This is a solution that's baked into the core and distributed with Magento. It's an enterprise level solution and at certain price levels does offer money back protection to the merchant if fraud or fraudulent orders get through. Another solution that's available through third party module vendors is called MaxMine. This is great for small to mid-level merchants. It, however, does not offer any money back protection. However, because of that, it's actually a very, very affordable solution. You can see here the MaxMine solution at work. Here's a test order that I placed from our office. It scored a 0.46% on the fraud estimation score. That means that it's gauging that this order is less than 1% fraudulent, which is actually a pretty good score because I placed it from our office using our real business card, uh, the office address, and everything else like that. So it definitely should look like a legit order. In the back end, what it's doing is it's checking a variety of different things, uh, like the IP address location against the billing and shipping addresses and seeing what the distance is there. It's checking if I'm using a proxy or a VPN service, which scrupulous people use to kind of divert and reroute their traffic to keep them hidden. It'll go ahead and see if I'm using a free email address. And then it also has a database of high risk email addresses and domains so we'll check it against those as well. So our hero merchant has realized that together we can do it all. We can do fraud detection, advanced searching, reporting, advanced promotion rules, product feeds, abandoned card emails, custom flexibility, and that Magento really is a platform for today and the future. So I have some tips for our future heroes out there. Plan ahead. Make sure you take plenty of time to do proper requ requirement gathering because it's critical. The amount of customizations, third-party modules, things that you will need to incorporate into your e-commerce solution should be tried to be identified up front. That way your developers can make sure that everything is going to work together holistically. If requirements come up at the end, Developers and agencies are trying to push things in at the last minute, and, and typically that's a recipe for disaster. Remember, e-commerce for most of us is a marathon, not a sprint. So the best advice I can offer there is get in the race and don't worry about the speed or the amount of features that you have up front. The next one is leverage out of the box functionality as much as possible. This really is back to the keep it simple philosophy. So the, the amount of things that you add to Magento adds to the layer of complexity. So if you're able to use as many core features as possible for as long as you can, that's going to make sure your, your total cost of ownership stays low and your complexity stays low. Next is leverage the ecosystem as much as possible. The ecosystem is full of hundreds of vendors in almost every imaginable niche and there's modules that exist 
that will probably do the functionality you need or bring you 90% of the way. In, in my experience, it's best to utilize those since they're already pre-built, they're usually very affordable, and they're true and tried uh, solutions. The next recommendation is make sure you test, test, test. You want to test everything in Magento. Every time you update it, every time you update a third-party module, you want to make sure that you test. The last tip, deferred maintenance is incurred debt. So what that means is every quarter, Magento is coming out with minor updates. And once a year, they come out with a major version update. You want to make sure you stay on top of these and you have a plan for implementing these. The longer you wait to do it, the bigger and harder and more complex the changes are going to be down the line. Switching to the Magento 2 platform has allowed our hero merchant to increase page views by 156%, has increased their average session duration 55%, has helped them increase their e-commerce conversion rate by 137%. And it has increased their transactions by 150%. So thank you for listening to my presentation today. To learn more about our hero merchant, check out Debraga at www.debraga.com. Pro tip, sign up for the newsletters for discounts and specials. To learn more about Creating Digital, hop over to www.creatingdigital.com. And I apologize to our international guests due to USDA restrictions, debraga.com cannot ship internationally. Thanks so much, and we'll open up the Q&A now. Yeah, if, you, yeah. if you've got questions, post those in the chat, and we'll get around to those here in just a second. Now, the thing that really stood out in that presentation to me is that the fraud tool thought you were about half a percent shady. Are you offended by that? A little bit. <laughs> or am I offended that it didn't find me more shady? I guess you could look at it. The optimism, I like that. Um, and the, the slides, did you do all the art for those yourself or did you have help? Because that, that was pretty clever. Thanks, thanks. Our, our creative director helped me. Um, I, I came up with the concept and then he helped with the execution. So we've got a few got more minutes here for qu questions. Go ahead and, and post those. Mark in the chat says, can we get a promo code? I'm starting to get a bit hungry already. So sign up for the, uh, the newsletter and uh, you should get a welcome promo code. Uh, within, I think, a day. Okay, doesn't look like we've got any questions submitted. So we're gonna take another short 30 minute break so I can get up and walk around a bit. Be sure to visit the sponsor booths. I mean, this wouldn't be possible without their support. Each booth has something unique and special to offer the Magento community, and you never know what special offers you're gonna find. So if you find something cool, be sure to shoot me a message and let me know, and I'll see you in a half an hour.